Hi, my name is Bertrina. I'm a student at WGU majoring in cybersecurity and information insurance. My Francisco soldier asked me to give a little bit of info about my experience with WGU, and I'm more than happy to do just that, um, in hopes that it'll help some of you decide whether or not this is a good fit for you. My overall experience up until this point has been pretty positive. Um, as with anything, there are some pros and cons. I was over the moon that I'd found a university that I felt was a good fit for me. Um, keep in mind, when I signed up, it was pre-COVID, so we did not have to deal with a lot of the issues that are facing the students today with tech um, and exams and such, but I'll get into some of that a bit later. The enrollment process is an easy one. Um, you put in an application, you give them all of your information, um, high school and college transcripts so they can go through and pull out courses that you really don't want to have to take twice if you don't have to. They help you with getting financial aid together. You are assigned an enrollment counselor and that counselor walks you through the process. So if there was anything that you actually needed to turn in, that enrollment counselor would be in touch with you to let you know exactly what it was that you needed to do. That helps a lot. In terms of the actual application, WGU sometimes gives vouchers so that you don't have to pay for the privilege of applying to a university. And I'm not sure if that's still the case with a lot of other schools, but that was one of the things that I really appreciated because I don't want to spend any more than I absolutely have to. The curriculum is different from regular brick and mortar schools because it's competency-based. What does that mean? Competency-based means that you can actually apply what you're learning in so many different situations. It means that they're not just grading you based on, oh, well, you wrote an excellent paper, here's an A. They're trying to see if you can actually use what you've learned. And I appreciated that. Another thing is that if you are in any of the IT departments, you'll get certifications that are included in tuition. For me, I know that there's ITIL, there's the program's changed, but I got two CIW certs. I have Project Plus, but A Plus is included, uh, Security Plus is included, and there are several others that are included in this major. That was a definite plus. I really don't want to have to pay for an education and then turn around and pay in order to take the certifications. In some instances, if you already have the knowledge and you can go ahead and pass those exams, then by all means do what's right for you. For me, um, going through the actual class and then taking the exam really helps me a lot. With the curriculum, you have the capability of accelerating your courses. What does that mean? It means that you can actually go a bit faster than you had planned. So if you're given a year and you want to make it through all of these courses and you can handle them, then you're allowed to do so. The only thing that they ask is that when you're assigned certain classes, that you finish those classes first and then add them on as you need to. I really like that because you don't have to take a long time to get your degree. But if you're like me and you need to take a little bit longer, that's okay because life happens. I've enjoyed that aspect thus far. You are given a mentor to walk you through a lot of different things. Um, your mentor will help you with your program, help you with your classes, uh, point you into the direction of the professors or the uh, teaching staff if they're not capable of helping you with your particular question. My mentor at WGU has been invaluable and I would not trade him for the world. If you end up with a mentor that you don't vibe with, um, that you have an issue with working with, personal, professional, whatever your reason, if you don't think that your mentor is a good fit for you, you are capable of requesting another. That person is put in your path to help you at WGU. And if they don't do that, you have every right to get someone that will help you to succeed. The professors. I have had my share of mediocre professors and I've had my share of truly exceptional professors. There are people that 
are passionate about what they're doing. And you can always tell the difference between someone who's just there versus someone who's there with a purpose. And I've had a couple of, more than a couple of professors that are so passionate with what they do that it comes through. I love that. That's a beautiful thing to me because I've spent so much time in classrooms with teachers that don't care um, for whatever reason. So when I'm able to go to a professor and ask a question that's hard for me and they can take it, absorb it, flip it, and then give it back to me in a different package that I can wrap my brain around. I love that. That's a beautiful thing. And I've experienced that at WGU. The thing that I think I appreciate the most about WGU, and this has been my experience, the flexibility. I wanted the flexibility of being able to go back to school. Um, I wanted to be able to learn on my terms, not just to fall in line, getting information, chewing over it, giving it back. I didn't want that. I didn't want the regular brick and mortar school. I wanted to be able to learn at home. And that is something else that I will mention. It is definitely different if you're not used to online learning. You are able to study for your classes on your own schedule, which I think is great. So if you're balancing a family with kids or older adults, or if you are a caretaker of someone, you can form your classes around these times so that you can still get what you need. You will test at home. Um, I'm not sure about all of the other majors and the courses that they have, but with my particular major, and I'm sure a lot of the students will, with regards to flexibility, you're able to take your classes when you need to on your own term. If you have to take care of a family member, or you have kids or a spouse, or you're taking care of parents or aunties or uncles, or you have a huge family that has you spread thin, or you're trying to balance work and life and this and that, and all of the things that have happened since COVID, you can do this. Um, if you have physical issues, you can do this. There have been days when I was sick and I was in bed and I literally had my setup in bed, studying, working on papers, working through whatever I needed to do in order to get through school, you can do this. Find a way that speaks to you in terms of the way that you learn. I love to read, but I don't like to fill my head with pointless things outside of cat names. Don't judge me. But find what works for you. Whatever your study style is, even if you don't know what your study style is, try different things. Music, ambient music in the background is a big deal for me because it helps me to hone in on what it is that I'm actually reading or working on. Um, remove distractions, uh, turn your phones off, uh, turn your tablets off, unless that's what you're using to study and access the material. I try to set aside a block of time where it's just me and my books. And that's what works best for me. Everybody's not like that. So you have to find what works solely for you. And once you find that groove, keep going. My experience at WGU has been incredible so far. Um, I have 13 classes, I'm sorry, 12 classes left. And I'm contemplating a master's for the first time. Uh, my parents were not able to go to school. Um, they had to take care of their families and they were pulled out of school. So I have opportunities that they did not. And that's important to me. Find your why, the how will come, and make it work for you. I wish you all the best, and I hope that my rambling has been helpful. Best wishes to you and whatever your path may be. Take care, thanks, bye.